alaikum everyone. My name is Sam. Uh, today I wanted to do a video to talk about um, Islam and the wide misconception around the world that we are these uh, violent, angry people that hate everybody that aren't Muslims. Um, first of all, if you haven't noticed, that's my baby. That's my daughter Imani sleeping in the background, so I'm trying not to be too loud. Um, but anyways, um, to be Muslim is uh, to be peaceful, to be loving, to be kind, to be uh, charitable to be a good person. When practiced right, when following Islam the way that it's meant to be, Muslims are not bad people. Um, for example, when we greet each other, we say, Aslam alaikum, which translated to English means blessings and peace be upon you. Um, so literally at the start of, of every conversation, when we enter a room, when we answer the phone, we say, Aslam alaikum, alaikum salam, you know, and that's, you know, returning the blessings to the other person was the response that I just said. Um, so, you know, our first initial reaction when coming across another human being is to wish peace on them. So, you know, just pay attention to that. And then also we have um, five pillars in Islam. It's like the, the groundwork, the makeup of the religion, the base. So you've got uh, five things that we prioritize. Okay, first of all, prayer. Um, sh we sh uh, shahada, which is when you uh, say uh, you have a declaration of I only believe in the one creator and that Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger. Um, and then we have hajj to Mecca, which is the pilgrimage to Mecca. Um, we have fasting. We have charity. Wait, what did I say already? We've got prayer. We've got charity. We've got fasting. We've got shahada. And we've got hajj. Okay, so that's all five. Um, but I wanted you guys to um, do a little more research and and learn why that those are, you know, five, the five pillars. But just think about it for a second. If we were terrible, terrible people and we hated everybody, why would why would one of our top five priorities in life be charity? You know, and it's not just for Muslims. It's charity. Period. Uh, there are different types of charity, but we do we prioritize it. If you have enough, you give back. Um, if you have a neighbor that is uh, hungry and they knock on your door and they need food, um, Islam says if there's enough for one, there's enough for two. And it does not matter if this person is a Muslim or a Christian or a Jew or atheist, whatever. It's irrelevant. If they're a person and they need you and you can help, you should help. And that's what Islam says. Um, also, keep in mind that uh, Islam says that Christian and Jews are our brothers and sisters of the book. We have the one core belief and uh, value in our religion, which is that there is one creator. There is only one creator. Now, I will say that we use different terms and different names, but the concept itself is the same. There is only one. So you may say God, but I say Allah. That's just the translation because Christian um, Arabs say Allah, just like me. Um, so we have so much in common. You just don't do the research to see that we're very similar. Um, and when, you know, I just, it bothers me when you, you look at it, like, for example, for an, uh, for an Orthodox Jew woman, they cover their hair, a little different than us, but they still, they cover. Um, and when people see that, they're like, wow, that's amazing, look at how devout they are to their religion. But then you have a Muslim woman who covers pretty much the same. Um, it's, it's a little different, but we, it's the same concept. We're covering our hair. And, um, but for us to do it, it's extreme. We are, we are being oppressed and we're following uh, a terrible religion that is a cult that is forcing women to be property and all these crazy things. We, like, why can't I just be devout? Why can't I just be religious and and want to do this for my creator why does it have to be about another person and a man especially this is definitely not for a man this is definitely not for my husband I love you babe but this is not for you this is for me um, but yeah just the the stereotypes and the assumptions and the blind following of what you hear about people that you don't know it's it's getting out of hand and the Islamophobia that's spreading around the world is um, it's consuming humanity at this point. It's consuming it because you have people attacking strangers on the street. You have people, um, you know, attacking each other online because they see that you're Muslim. So clearly they need to tell you to go eat pig shit, which is literally something that someone has said to me 
as a stranger, they inboxed it to me on Facebook, and the first message was, you, you Muslim piece of crap, whatever, what have you, you pig shit, bird in hell, you know, like, this is just strangers saying thing, things like this to me, so I want you to understand, and I'm not saying that, oh, Muslims are the only good people, obviously, other people in the world are attacking me, so they're the problem, not me, I'm not saying that at all, but I'm saying, um, Muslims are not bad people because they're Muslim. Muslims, if they are a bad person, it's because of choices that they made, and it has nothing to do with the fact that they're Muslim. It doesn't coincide with their beliefs, or maybe they have different beliefs that don't, uh, that are not religion related. That's just a personal um, choice, you know what I'm saying, for themselves, and they do bad things, but it's not, it doesn't coincide with Islam. Another thing that I wanted to bring up, and this is super random kind of, but um, the concept or the idea that suicide bombing is. Um, of Islam, that their their um, holy war uh, whatever fighters, and that they'll be praised in the afterlife for it. I want it to be very clear that n under no circumstances is suicide permissible in Islam. The hellfire is where suicide takes you, regardless of your um, your reason for it. And then on top of that, to take other lives with you. That's more sin, okay? So Muslims do not support um, terrorism. We don't support hurting innocent people. Um, we don't. That's that's not. We don't. We don't support. Um, say, for example, in war, in war, not like during wars out in my neighborhood, where obviously nothing would happen, but in a war zone. Even then, it you you don't hurt innocent people. Okay, you're, you're fighting with other people that are also fighting with you. That is war. But Islam does not say that it's okay to attack, to attack the women and the children. They're innocent. Um, it even said, there are, there are rules so strict in Islam when it comes to war that it even says that you, you will be taking sin to de destroy a tree in your, in your efforts to win a war by taking down these trees. That is sin. That's how, that's how serious Islam takes violence. So I want everybody to do some research, look into it a little bit, and um, I'm going to end this with a quote that I love very much from Islam. It says uh, something along the lines of, to, to uh, take one innocent life, it, to kill one man, one innocent man, is to kill all of mankind, but to save one life, one innocent life, is to save all of mankind. And that is what being Muslim is about. So that being said, I love you all and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and as always, I love you guys and I appreciate you for watching. Uh, and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.